first basic example. I will give you two, three examples so that you know you can understand end to end application of logistic regression. The, the theoretical understanding, the technical understanding we have covered now. Now let us see couple of applications. Here you can see consider a data sets where we have to classify whether the person own a house or not based on his income or her income, right. So here we have put the data. So this is the income of the candidate based on our income, the, whether the candidate or the person is owning a home or not that shows the data based on the survey. So you have the data now, but look at the outcome data are in a binary format. The, the question is that what is the logistic reason, how will you implement this model or how, what, what we are going to build? What is the question here then? The question here is that this is the income of the person, only one independent variable we have con considered, one predictor variable and this is the say, predicted variable or say you can say the outcome variable. These outcome variables are not been, you know, what is the cost of the home, etc. This why, what is the cost of the home, we are not discussing. We are calculating the probability, whether it is a 0 or 1, like yes or no. So, probability will convert into the binary outcome, yes or no. So, now here, this is the, you know, sample data will fit a logistic regression line P by 1 minus P equals to say beta 0 plus beta 1 x and then we know the formula p equals to 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus a beta 0 plus beta 1 x using this either of this formula we will be able to calculate for a new candidate for a new candidate with say income of say 3 0 0 0 suppose right if a new candidate if a new candidate come if a if a new candidate come with this much of income whether the persons will have the own will have the own home or not that you can get from this predicted model of logistic regression. How we will get it? Look at the from this data from this existing data sample data you can fit the logistic regression model with we are understand by calculating the coefficients you can fit the model look at the logistic function we have draw the symbiote function and the probability are being listed in the left vertical axis now. Now for a new candidate 3000 say right 30,000 say. So, 30,000 will fall suppose somewhere here. So, generally 30,000 is falling here. Generally, the data set says that the person may not have own the own home. But if it is a 70,000, say 70,000 70, probability, you can see it is coming here. So, probably it is the cutoff point. If your cutoff point say look cutoff value is a 0.5 say 0.5 say cutoff point. In that case, you can say that you know 70,000 income in that case the person's ch chance are like here. So, probability that persons will have his own home. So, this way you apply the logistic regression after defining the formula the relationship with your data sets and the probability of occurrence. Look at it is a probability of occurrence. This is it can a range of it, it will have a range of 0 to 1, 0 to 1. But since you have put a cut off point based on your understanding or you know decision making process where to cut you are classifying the outcome into two category yes or no and for a new candidate whether it is 30,000 uh, income or say 70,000 income you will be able to predict whether the persons will have his own home or not. Basic example I have given. Now let us understand with a larger application. Now we have taken a another interesting application suppose the relationship between the age and the sign of heart disease we are to, we would like to calculate right through logistic regression how the model will work here let us understand. Here you can see the age sample, sample you have to collect first, here you need some more sample than regression analysis, right. More sample will give you a better prediction of logistic regression. But in linear regression, even if you have very less sample, say less than 20, 25, even 10, 12 also, you can use the model of simple regression. But in logistic regression, if you want to come up with the accurate predictions, you need around 50, 60 or maybe thousands of data, then only you will be able to make a better prediction. Some, some sort of higher data are required to make a actual prediction because your classifications will be done into binary kind of right cases, right. So here you can see, suppose age are independent variable, only age we have considered and these are the sample and the heart disease cases are been listed here from a report say. So here you can see age 22 there is no heart disease say 0 suppose here we are considering no heart disease. Here 1 with 35 age 1 cases we found. But when the age are increasing look at age are getting older person look at the heart disease cases are increasing. So now for a new candidate for a new person with say age says 55 say right or say you know um, say you know say 30 say 45 whatever 
you can condition what could be the chances of heart disease. We will calculate the probability first. The chance will calculate. The chance will calculate. Chance will calculate. The probability will calculate first. After that, we will convert based on the cutoff point into two cases. But based on this data, we found the no disease cases, the average no disease cases are 38, 38 years of age. And the disease cases, the average based on the data, all one we have put together and we have taken their average. We found on an average age of 58.7 years, people will have a disease, heart disease. But on an average based on these data sample, 38 years of age of people does not have the heart disease. Look at the sample. Look at the sample. So we have the basic, you know, like, you know, descriptive analytics with, with our hand now. Now you have to fit a model first and then you have to see the pattern of the data and then you can, for a new person, you can predict. Now look at this data. This data are been classified into this way, right? Cases of disease and no disease, no heart disease. And you cannot fit the regression line, right? Because it, it does not have a ceiling. So you have to cut. So you put the reg logistic reg symboid function and then sigmoid function sigmoid sigmoid function right and then you put your p equals to 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus of beta 0 plus beta 1 h right you put this and then you fit your model here we have done it look at this so first what we have done we have classified the data into groups so here 20 to 29 years we found 5 sample and then 30 to 39 6 sample and then 40 to 49 7 sample we have calculated couple of sample 1 2 3 4 5 6 and here how many cases of heart disease we found between the age group of 20 to 29 nil nil no no one 30 to 31 only one cases 30 to 39 only one cases here you can see 30 to 39 here 35 one candidate with age of 35 has a heart disease it is exceptional case so but we found that one and then 40 to 49 two cases but 7 sample were there. So, for 82 to 89, we found 1 cases, 72 to 79, 2 cases. So, we found the data frequency. And from that, we have calculated the probability value in terms of percentage, which will be easier for us to understand. Look at here, with the age of 80 to 89, only one candidate are there, but the candidate has a heart disease. So, 100 percent outcome are coming out to be disease. Even 72 to 79, two candidates based on this existing sample. If you increase sample size, your prediction formula might change little. But suppose 72 to 79 cage group, two candidates we found, both have the heart disease. So it is your 100% chances that they will have a heart disease. But when the ages are reducing, 60 to 69 age category, five people, only four has the quite high, has the you know heart disease. So 80% people are like four by four by five, almost 80% people are coming out to be heart disease, having heart disease. But once the ages reduces, you can see the percentage of heart disease are been reducing. So this plot, this data, we are going to plot here, say, in our different example I am showing. We are going to plot in our graph. So age group are here in different category, category 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, say, say 7. And look at category, say 7 and say 6 and 7, these two category, 6 and 7, last two category, 6 and 7, both have 100 percent chance of heart disease, look at 100 percent both have the 100% chance of heart disease. Then it is reducing, but look at the age group of, like first age group of 20 to 29, no chance of heart disease, zero percentage of heart disease. Now, similarly, you can see this. Now, for other, you have plotted, but look at the type, pattern of the graph. What type of pattern it is following? Is it a straight line? No. Is it a straight line? Is it a straight line? No. It is not a straight line. Rather, because there is a selling. Look at after that, there will be 100% only. Like, and there is a no case. Below age 20, there will be, there might not be any cases of, very rare cases of heart disease. No, none of them will have heart disease. So you have to put a right graph like this, right? So therefore, we are putting the same word function through this formula, through this formula. And that is been replaced with this logistics function to balance the range of the data sets, 0 to in, minus infinity to infinity. And this also says the minus infinity to infinity. But we have replaced that, replaced this data, this data with this graph through this symboid function. Now, since you have replaced that with the symboid function with your own data sets, so this will come as a probability. Now, the ceiling is 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 0 to 1 and your probability are here now. Corresponding probability are there. Now, for a new candidate, for a new candidate, for a new patient, whatever the age you do have, like this is a bank or say, you know, insurance company or the, you know, uh, people who use the logistic regression, they apply. 
for a new candidate based on this pattern of the data sample size they have fit the model now the formula are been done param coefficients are been estimated so probability formula are done logistic regression model are be also the, with your understanding so now you put a new candidate come back where the age is falling so you can cal cal calculate the chance of this candidates whether will have the person will have a disease or not if it is falling above your cut off point say, say 0.5 0.5 above your cut off point you say the persons will have disease but if you found a new candidate whose cases are coming probability here say you can say that their candidate might have a disease but you are predicting right this is a prediction you can you can conclude that the persons will not have a heart disease because your cut off point are here so this is what the application logistic regression now if you extend this concept to more than one variable independent variable suppose here we have put three independent variable you can add more also in that case we call it as a multiple logistic regression because more than one it's not multinomial your category is only two zero or one binary outcome will be there of your output value not the why you are going to actually calculate we are calculate the we are going to calculate the probability of success or say failure remember here here also we are not calculating the y value right we are calculating the whether the persons will have a heart disease or not yes or no that data we do have and we are predicting it right whether to approve the loan or not insurance claim is a fraud claim or right claim that yes no kind of outcome we are going to decide after that how much amount you would like to disburse etc that is a different case so now we are taking initial call through logistic regression so therefore in case you have a multiple logistic regression or more than one independent variable how does it work the formula will remain same as it is everything will be the same your p value will be you know 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 same formula plus dot 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 say same formula and the corresponding logistics function formula for your understanding with range understanding will remain the same let us understand in that case look at increase in odd log odds in one in unit increases in x1 say or xi with the other keeping constant your interpretation of the coefficients the correlation and the coefficient linear relationship are being developed the same logic how much changes are happening in your output cost like log odds if you change one unit in your x like the way you do regression right y equals to alpha plus beta x what is beta if you change one unit in x what is the change in y right so it's a slope so this the rate of change are been defined here also so if you change one unit keeping all other constant if you change one unit even in multiple regression you can do like this right same logic we have done it in, in regression analysis multiple regression here also same logic but here you have more than one independent variable or predictor variable but your outcome will be only on binary like through probability and then you convert into two case of binary so this logistic regression of multiple cases will remain same just a basic understanding extension of basic understanding now let us see one interesting example this example of more than one independent variable will not only be illustrated this will be used for confusion matrix analysis also in practice in real life application or in industry people not only take the decision that whether to approve loan or not people calculate the accuracy level of your model whatever the logistic regression model you, we have used it is a common for everybody right for you know at least binary cases you can fit the model but the point here is that what is the accuracy level of your model that also is very important right you can predict but it may, may come up with the wrong prediction also we can say ultimately it's a prediction model so they are also forecasting so therefore you need to calculate the confusion matrix in logistic regression the accuracy level the accuracy level of your model has to be calculated this has been calculated through this confusion matrix so there are four category one is the true positive this is the actual case of data say i'll show you in a through example but first understand the basic concept of conf confusion matrix you have a actual case of data and you have a predicted model for your logistic graph right logistic model you have p value you know p equals to 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus say you know whatever the formula right beta 0 plus uh, beta 1 x plus dot dot you are adding more variable here so suppose but for even single variable also you can make the predicted uh, this confusion matrix so now in that case what happens this is your predicted model and this is your actual data now look at the true positive case what is the concept if actual is positive and your model also predict positive 
in that case the outcome decision final decision is a true positive actually is also positive look at the blue color actually is positive your prediction is also positive but actually is positive the person has the heart disease or person may you know repay the loan but your prediction is says that no 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 person does not have heart disease or person cannot pay the loan because prediction model can come up with wrong outcome right because exceptional cases we have seen but general structure says that if the actual is positive but your outcome is negative then we call it is a false negative false negative because actually true false negative similarly if the actual data are negative and your model also say negative then we call it a true negative look at the matrix but if actually is negative but you say positive person is died but you are saying it's a you know survived right so in that case negative case we call it a false positive because you are saying false positive but effectively negative so these are the confusion matrix and these are the four parameter of calculation accuracy level is nothing but true positive true negative by all possible outcomes this is the accuracy level this is the most important part there are few more aspects like sensitivity uh, specificity and the precision sensitivity is nothing but the true positive by true positive and false negative look at this is this two case so true positive true positive by true positive plus false negative this is nothing but a sensitivity look at here sensitivity measures the proportion that true positive predicts out of the actual positive instances right so it indicates the model's ability to capture all positive in indices similarly specificity measures the proportion of the true negative out of the all negatives this is what the specificity look at true negative by ne true negative and true false positive so this two cases are there and one other is the precision precision are nothing but you can say the measure the proportion of true positive prediction out of all positive prediction only all the positive prediction look at it's a true positive and false positive based on that what is the case of ratio you are getting that we call as a precision but all these four points are you know calculations are been uh, important in different cases examples in the discussion process you can come up okay in this case what could be the outcome what could be the probability what could be the chance ratio value relative value all this you can understand and you get a better insights about the model but effectively the most important part is the accuracy level of your model like you know true positive and true negative both are good cases right your model is giving you good predictions based on the total predictions that you have done uh, you found from your model so that is called the confusion matrix let us apply it so here we have taken a data sets we have taken this data from kaggle the titanic data sets there might be more than like more than 2000 people are there most of like only 800 people or couple of people have survived we are not talking that we are talking the example or application of logistic regression here here we have taken a data sample say 891 sample 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 couple of sample we have taken and this is the passenger id say passenger id and this is the the data that we do have in our secondary data sets one means diet and zero means not diet that means survived so one we are we are trying to predict whether the person has died or not from our logistic regression understand look at dependent variable are this diet or not if diet then one if diet or then one if not diet then it is zero you can change the data survived or non survived also many people illustrate this model by using the word survived or non survived here we have used diet or not diet or survived so this way diet is our one right if the person died so the death will be represented by the one value as a dependent variable and independent variables are been given here what are that passenger class like class 1 class 2 class 3 in titanic you know all know there are many type of class of passengers were there right and the sex of the candidate whether female male that has been mentioned here and the age category of the candidates and the fare like if there is a high class then there will be high fare also in do, in terms of dollar suppose data are been given so how many independent variable are there four independent variable right or predictor variables are here only one dependent variable one one dependent variable that is what the person has died or survived or not died now these are the data set now we will use the logistic regression and for a new candidate we will see what is the prediction whether the person has died or not from our model and what is the accuracy level of our prediction model right that is the most important part in the study required now using excel stat or adrix software or you know python you can run the model you take the data you take the data and put it in your software run the logistic regression model will give you the results i'll show you that also but for the time being let us understand the outcome of your model just put the data in the model you, you get the outcome 
So here first we have done the basic regression using the maximum likelihood function or say you know the software that you have. Just put the data, you use the logistic regression and drag it like in regression you do, you will get the outcome right. So here we have four independent variable predictor variables and one constant intercept you can say and we found using our logistic regression model, we found the p value for all of them, you have to see whether they are significant or not right. We found fair value, the p value of fair independent value is very high 0 0.87, rest all are you know significant you can see less than 0 0.05, but for fair it is 0 0.87, so you cannot include fair right, it is not explaining your decision of whether the percentage died or not. Maybe fair and passenger class are correlated, fair and passenger class may be correlated therefore you need to exclude it. But we in your data sets we found fair has no relationship with your decision variables. So because it, it has a high p, so you exclude the fair. So therefore you cannot take these coefficients into your model beta 0 like you know uh, ln of p by 1 minus p equals to say beta 0 plus beta 1 of say p passenger class plus beta 2 of say sex plus a beta 3 of say age plus beta 4 of say fair. You cannot take this right because fair is not coming, so you cannot take these coefficients. You have to remove fair from your data sets and you have to rerun your logistic regression by considering only three independent variable or predictor variable passenger class sex and age because they have the significant relationship. Now you rerun your model and then you see what is your final prediction of your logistic regression model. You rerun the model, simply put the select the data, exclude the column of fair and rerun the model, right. Consider three of them, these three of them as your independent variable and diet as your dependent variable, binary kind of outcome. Now you fit the model logistic regression model and you get your outcome. So here we found all, all of them has the significant. So we will select the model, look at our final model now, look at passenger class, sex and age using the logistic regression outcome or maximum, maximum likelihood function or the software you will get the coefficient also beta 0, beta 1, beta 2, beta 3. Your model is set now. Either this or you know you can calculate the p in the next slide I will show you, you can calculate the p value also p probability not this p, p is the significant of your statistical set from the ANOVA analysis. This p we are not considering, here we are considering the probability of your logistic model through which you can calculate the relationship of your logistic regression also but that we will not consider, we will consider this function to calculate the probability. So now come here, look at here. So p we found 1 by 1 plus 1 by 1 plus e to the power of this formula, right. We found our probability and the logistic regression function model, the relationship of your model done now, formula is ready now. Now for a new candidate, you know the class, new candidate, new passenger, right. New candidate or passenger, you can or say you know in the Titanic example, you can see the passenger class, you can calculate the sex, you can give the input of age, sex and passenger, you will get the probability of the passenger. But where it is falling, upper side or lower side, point 0.5 year cutoff point say, then you can say that percentage died or survived or not died. Remember in our example we have considered 1 means diet, right. So we will understand our problem or illustrate our problem accordingly, 1 means diet, right. We want to see how many people have died that we want to predict. Now here you can see. And we will use everything the accuracy level through our confusion matrix. First understand the logistic regression outcome. So look at the final data set. So passenger class, diet, passenger class, a passenger ID, passenger sex, age and fare. Fare we are not considering, so we will exclude this, right. And then we have found the probability, we have found the probability say function, the logistic regression formula using symbolic function and the coefficient also we calculated. Now, Look at the previous case, all these cases, the data, we will calculate the prediction from our model. The actual diet case, we already have the second column. This is our actual case, right, actual case data. This is our predicted case. So for one, you put one here, like you know, candidate one, and you can see the data with first ID, ID case, first ID. You will find the age, the corresponding, you know, uh, sex, and say, male, female, whatever and the age. You put and the passenger class, you will find the probability 0 0.10. So probability 0 0.10 means what? You put here, this is your predicted probability. Now for any candidate, candidate number 7, candidate ID 7. 
So what would be the predicted probability? Predicted probability for candidate 7, the passenger class 7 say, candidate 7 say, would be 1 by you know 1 plus this e to the power what whatever the values you will put what values you will put these values 1 0 and 54 you put here 1 0 and 54 you will find the corresponding probability what will, what will the probability 0 0.29 look at this 0 0.29 so all this prediction we have done now but these are the actual probability value from the graph right from the graph from the symboid graph we found the corresponding probability for any candidate passenger id we found the probability value here corresponding and we have listed here. Now you have to classify them. So look at here, we have put the 0.5 as our cutoff point, 0.5 as our cutoff point, right, cutoff probability. So first candidate is 10 percent, so it is a below 0.5, so we are considering death means higher 1, right. So here 0.10, so it means a person is actually survived, so it is 0, 1 means death in our example. First case, it is 0. Second, second passenger ID, we found 0.91. So it is dead. That means it's a 91 percent. So it means there are probability are saying 91 percent. That means the person is diet. Therefore, it is a 1. Because in our case, we have considered diet as the outcome as 1. We are representing that. So now third candidate 0 0.571, 0 0.9, fourth candidate 1. So next fifth candidate 0 0.6 percent only. So it is survived. It is not died. Sixth candidate, seventh candidate not died. So last look at last candidate of our sample, it is not died. Second last, it is died. So this is the classification based on this probability or the prediction of our model now. Now you have two, two data sets. One this column and another this one. This one, the actual, the actual survived or death case and predicted death predicted predicted death or say survive case. 1 means death in our model, 0 means not death, that means not died, that means survived. So now go to the confusion matrix. So we have taken these two column now. Look at first candidate, survived, not died, our model also said not died. Second model, diet, our model also said diet. Third case, third candidate, diet, our model also predict diet. Fourth case, so you might say the all matched, model is good, almost look at this. 80 percent accuracy are there, 79 percent. There are a couple of issues where you will find that it is not matching. In, in between there, I will show you in Excel, you will get to know there are a couple of cases which will not which will not match. Our prediction will be different than the actual cases. Here you found the final results, you can see the confusion matrix. True positive, look at true positive. The actual is diet, our model also say diet, here you might say the all matched, but it is a couple of sample I have put when I will show you Excel, you will get that variation. So actually is diet, our model also said diet, only 240 cases are coming. And actually is diet, but our model said no diet, 100 times we have predicted wrongly. Look at actually is not diet, our model also said not diet, 467 sample out of 891 are being predicted accurately. So actually is not diet, survived, our model also said survived. Actually is not diet or survived. Our model say no diet, 82 candidates are coming. So this is what your confusion matrix, right? And corresponding sensitivity, specificity and precision, you can calculate and the actual value, accuracy value also you can calculate and look at true positive and true negative by all outcome. You will get 79 percent accuracy of your model. So we have come to our normal screen of Excel. We will illustrate this problem of Titanic with logistic regression example in Excel now. So you can see the data, these are all data. So we have passenger ID column, then diet, passenger class, sex, age and fare. So we are considering these four variable, class to passenger class to um, fare as independent variable and then we are considering diet column number B as our you know dependent variable. So this will be you know binary kind of thing diet and survived. So we are considering diet me 1 means diet, 0 means survived. So this we are assuming in our analysis. So you can think this way. Many people consider you know 1 means survived, 
zero means that here we are trying to see how many people have died right throughout our example so we'll consider one means that so what you have to do you just run the logistic regression here you can see we have installed the excel stat it is a excel additional feature which you can download through palisade decision tool suite which i'll illustrate detail in simulation session but here i'll show you the application of that software it's excel add-in like excel different like you have another software called excel stat real stat you can install them also and you can run this different type of analytical software like logistic regression arima and etc and different type of different additional multivariate data analysis you can do here we'll illustrate only the logistic regression part so here you can see this is the general excel home but here we have added the additional excel tool like stat tool of at risk analysis so come to just import the data first data set manager click this go to new and then select the data sets so we are selecting from say you know this we can select all actually and then all data we let select and then here click okay so data been imported now come here look at the logistic regression time series also analysis you can do all this but we have done all this illustration in excel basic excel but you can use this software also so here since it is advanced logistic regression is advanced ml process so you need some you know direct excel it will be difficult because you have to do entire analysis of maximal likelihood and all these things here in a ready made software you can understand that easily so select dependent variable diet as a dependent variable and come to independent variable case passenger class select them sex age and your fare right so all of them we are considering independent variable for the timing all four and diet we have considered dependent variable look at d select okay click okay your results will come here you can see we have found the result through excel stat of logistic regression and all this analysis you can see but the problem here is that here you can see the p value of fare is quite high 0.87 so therefore it is not significant it is insignificant it is not explaining the dependent variable that is the diet or survive effectively so we'll exclude it from our analysis and then we'll rerun our logistic regression model again so let us exclude it and then will rerun the model because it is the p is very high it is not significant it should be less than 0.05 but for all other it is fine but for fair it is not less than 0.05 it's quite high so you have to exclude it the diet is not dependent on fair so it's a no relevance so go to here you can see logistic regression again so here what we'll do we'll exclude fair from our data sets from the independent variable set so we are considering passenger class sex and age and now we are running the rerunning the logistic regression model again and we found the result by excluding the fair here you can see fair is not coming here and now all of the independent variable look at here all of them are significant now all of them are significant so we can say that you know all three passenger class sex and age has a direct impact to your dependent outcome dichotomous outcome of decision variable that is called diet whether the person will die or survive so now this is the outcome of the results and you can see the accuracy level confusion matrix 240 which i have explained in x ppt 240 100 100 and this 82 and 487 and the results all these results you will find here which i have kept in another sheet so here you can see that was the raw file and we have done the predictions and we have calculated the probability like i have shown you in ppt so we have calculated the probability like here you can see the probability part like and the corresponding the probability part we have calculated here and based on that based on the logistic graph we found the first candidate is coming out to be 10% right first passenger so 10% means point cut off point is 0.5 which is below so it is we are putting the final decision as binary na as 
not death, it is a survived, like not death, because that is death one means we are considering death. Now second passenger seat coming out to be as per our final outcome from this formula, we are finding the second candidate to be 0.91. So you can see 0 0.91, so 0 0.91 is quite high above 0.5, so we are considering that candidate under death category. So this way we have done all this analysis and the corresponding probability conversion, binary conversion 0, 1 from this probability outcome we have listed here. Now we will segregate them and we have created the confusion matrix. Here you can see death, the, this is our prediction and this is the actual. Column B is actual and column C is the prediction. And we can see the matching now, actual death and our prediction from here we are, we are getting 240 cases. And actually died but we are saying no, it is a not diet. So the wrong prediction is coming out to be true negative or coming out to be 100. So this way we have calculated the actual survived and also survived 467 cases are matching. So this way we have done the confusion matrix and if you see the final outcome of both cases, here you can see here with fair cases we found that 0.87 just I have shown you, but if you exclude it and this is your final outcome results. You can see all threes are there passenger class 6 and age and the corresponding you know, confusion value and the accuracy level you can see 79 percent and all the results are been also duplicated here. So this is what the effect of logistic regression using the Excel illustration also. I believe it is clear to everybody how the logistic regression work and how the model are been developed and where to apply and how to read the logistic regression model and how to calculate the accuracy of a logistic regression outcome through confusion matrix. With that, with that, let us conclude the session of logistic regression. Remember, there are many extension of logistic regression are there. So far, we have discussed only the binary case and two cases, simple and multiple independent variable. But you can extend that to multinomial logistic regression where you know your category could be student, teacher, farmer, different type of outcome will be defined like this way, not only the binary cases. You can consider the ordinal logistic regression where the rank will be defined like low, medium, high kind of thing. The different type of application of logistic regression are there, but we have restricted our discussion in this session into the basic binary logistic regression with two sample cases. One is a si only single independent variable and more than one independent variable that is a multiple independent variable. And how this, you know, success failure or the yes no or decision of survive or die cat be, could be measured and may be predicted through logistic regression that we have discussed through this session. Thank you.